Good afternoon and welcome to NASA's Johnson Space Center. I'm Chelsea Bayarte here live in Mission Control Houston. We're on flight day 10 of NASA's Artemis 1 mission and today the Orion spacecraft will conduct a translational burn to insert the spacecraft into a distant retrograde orbit or DRO. So the outbound powered flyby has been complete. We are on our way now to distant retrograde orbit or DRO. Now we're going to do a maneuver to put ourselves into this orbit and to maintain it. We're going to be about 38,000 miles away from the lunar surface as we orbit around. That's part of why we're calling it distant. And we call it retrograde because the moon orbiting the Earth in this direction and then we're entering into our orbit in this direction. Opposites retrograde. Now we're choosing this orbit because it's extremely stable. It doesn't cost a lot of fuel to maintain your position there. And that gives all of our engineers, our flight controllers, the chance to really learn about Orion systems in deep space, learn about flying a spacecraft farther than we've ever sent one intended for humans. We're going beyond anywhere we ever went for Apollo. And so we're gonna be in that orbit test out all of those systems. Eventually we'll do a maneuver to break out of that, do another flyby and come home. But for now, looking forward to getting into DRO and really getting our chance to learn about Orion on this Artemis 1 flight. 30 seconds away from the expected start of the burn. burn is nominal so far. Everything proceeding nominally. We're continuing to hear good callouts from flight controllers monitoring the burn. We've reached the end of the burn. It has the engine has stopped firing. Flight controllers here in the white flight control room looked at all the data from the burn and confirmed that it was a good burn. The burn began as scheduled at 3:52 p.m. Central Time, burning for almost a minute and a half.